So yes, the, the title of this video is not clickbait. This monitor over here, it costs $2,000, $2,000. And the main reason is, well, quick hint here, it's a Porsche design monitor. Porsche, yeah, the high-end racing car manufacturer monitor. And very quickly, it's a Porsche, 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 how do you really say it? Just leave it below the like button. I gotta be saying Porsche duration of this whole video, but let me know. I want to know what you guys say. The Porsche, Porsche, but, but the real question over all is this monitor over here, designed by Porsche, is it worth it $2,000? And is it any good for gaming? Let's find out. So the PD32M monitor that I got right behind me is some um, impressive 32 inch IPS 4K mini LED UHD monitor with the resolution of 3840 by 2160 with 1152 dimmable zones for some perfect and impressive blacks. And of course, it does have HDR 1400 certificate and 1600 nits of peak brightness. Um, for connectivity, well, this monitor doesn't stay behind whatsoever because it has two HDMI 2.1 and one DisplayPort 1.4, giving it some sweet 144 hertz at one millisecond response time for some excellent gaming but also got a full USB-C with display port capability and support to up to 90 watts one USB type B upstream port and four USB type A downstream for all your peripherals and anything that you need to connect to this monitor and you also got a microphone pass through as well. So microphone in from the main system to the screen. And then from the screen, you can connect a cell headset or anything similar like that to have a microphone pass through. For this monitor, I got some incredible connectivity that to be honest, is very, very close to a all-in-one system. One cable USB-C will go to the main PC and is ready to go. And apart from all the ports for connectivity, this monitor doesn't got an internal power supply. So I got an external power supply and it's massive. But I guess it needs to be that big to drive a 4K monitor at 1,600 nits of peak brightness with some incredible blacks and just looking amazing how it looked this monitor. And I fully get why the power supply needs to be externally and not internally because this needs to drive a 4K panel IPS with 1,600 nits of brightness, 4K mini LED with 144 hertz. So you need loads of power to drive this thing. So it comes with a very chunky power supply that if this power supply was inside, this could not be a three size frameless design how it looks with the bottom changes having the Porsche design logo in this beautiful black brush aluminium. So talking about Porsche design, this is the whole reason this monitor costs $2,000. $2,000 for a monitor, it doesn't flex, it doesn't do nothing out there, it's not even OLED, it's designed by Porsche. And you can see reminiscence of some of the Porsche cars, if you've ever been in a Porsche car and you have to sit inside, you can see the stand, the design of the stand is very similar to steering wheel of a Porsche or even the, the rims of a Porsche. Everything is all unique. And the stand is a one piece machine aluminum that it just look incredible. And underneath got a little details like that tiny projector then you can a change the color of the lighting but b you can go between the logo of aoc or you can go with the porsche design logo that i got over here and that is reflecting down into the stand very similar to again some porsche cars when you open the door you can see the logo projecting the floor to give it that wow factor 
And this is what this monitor is all about. It's a wow. from the top all the way down to the bottom to the little details like how to control the OSD that on display system is with this little device over here is wireless, is fully aluminium as well. And with this, you can control well the brightness of the display. And you got that incredible OSD that is shown behind that is not like every single USD that you see out there. If we're talking about design, let's go all the way to the top now because yeah, the frame of the monitor, the frame of this panel where you're sitting, it's a plastic design with a clip-on stand, as I mentioned, full machinery aluminium stand over here. And you also got two, not one, you got two full aluminium retractable headphone hangers for just keep your headphones up there. And that is just the little details that Porsche is bringing to the table with the PD32M monitor. But this is still a gaming monitor. It's a 2,000 pound gaming monitor designed by Porsche. They also got a 27 inch version if you're looking into that one, but this is the 32 as I mentioned. And now for gaming, yeah, 2,000 pounds you can pay an OLED with higher refresh rate and probably more features than what this monitor got for that price. And of course you're paying for the Porsche shine tag at the bottom of your monitor and just say to your friends that, yes, I got a Porsche design monitor. It's still an excellent, excellent gaming monitor from any game that you chat, from gaming, racing, shooting, FPS, anything is an incredible gaming monitor. And you can also modify all the profiles, like all the gamer profiles, like one, two, and three, this give you three programmable profiles that you can change the vibrance of your color, you can put a FPA counter, you can actually put a cross, as I got right now showing there, a cross for some FPA shooting as well. It, this monitor kind of got everything for gaming, but at the same time keeping it sleek for being a Porsche designer. Of course, again, paying $2,000 for this monitor. But I had this monitor now for about three weeks now, and I've been testing it as my daily driver here in the studio. Um, color accuracy. I think this is the strong point of this monitor. This is being sold as a gaming monitor, but I think this is a productivity monitor, a content creator monitor. It got some excellent color accuracy for skin tones and um, lighting effects and um, everything. I've been editing S-Log in this and the image that I'm getting is one-to-one -to, -one to what I see on the camera right now. Um, what you see yourself, uh, how you see yourself, is skin tones being as perfect as they can be, lighting being as perfect as it can be, and all the blacks being perfect blacks in this monitor. I'm watching content in this thing because watching YouTube, watching some movies in 4K HDR, they are just next level. So for the three weeks that I had this monitor so far here in the studio, editing all my videos with DaVinci Resolve, watching loads of YouTube contents, and yes, gaming, this I would say is a content creation monitor first and a gaming monitor second. But again, it's a Porsche design monitor and I just, I don't know how many times I have said it's a Porsche design monitor and it's $2,000 monitor, but it's this 2,000 pound monitor, 2,000 pound monitor. Is it really, really worth it for gaming? Well, if you are like me, as I said, content creator first, gaming second, maybe, maybe this can take your productivity and your, your content, the quality of your content to that next level. I just remember it's 2,000 pounds. So if you're looking for different monitors that they don't cost 2,000 pounds, well, just check link over here of all my other videos and just let me know in the comment below what you think. Would you consider buying the Porsche Design PD32M by AOC? Well, link will be below the like button if you want to check that one out. But Comment down below what you think about this monitor and will you, will you A, like to try it and will you keep it? 
if you tried it. Let me know down below. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm Chicka Tech. Welcome to the studio. We are rolling. See you in the next one, guys. Adios.